Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. It's about, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes later than that package opening that I just did. And I want to come back down and do the uh, lock picking patrolman's lock. Uh, I feel pretty good. I just took a shower. I'll stick in the vise and let's see if we can get this picked tonight, guys. Eh, I don't know what time it is. Probably 10 o'clock somewhere around. It works absolutely flawlessly. Very nice. It's all locked up, guys. Uh, we're going to need a gem for sure. Something for the bottom of this keyway. Very nice Euro cylinder. No name, but very nice cylinder. Uh, let's try and go counterclockwise on it. See what we can get. All right, touch five. It goes into a little bit of a, just a little turn on that core. Four, a little more. Wow, that went deep now. That might have been three, guys. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting nothing. What's happening is my, my, okay, what, one and nothing. Two, nothing. I think that there was three. Actually, I'm getting count around four. I just overset four for sure. Yeah. See, and you know what's happening to me here? The, uh, okay, touch five. Went back into that little false set. Let me see what pin there was. Four gave me a little deeper. See, it went way deeper the first time there, guys. I'm definitely hooked on something. Uh... Oh, there, oh, real deep. That was three, definitely, guys. Definitely three there. One, I'm getting a little counter, but it won't set. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to change the bottom of the keyway tension because if I do bottom, then I got a lot of keyway to play with there still. See? You know what? Let's do that. Let me, uh, different, different tensioner here. Let's go right here with this. Okay. Let's see if we can get in there with the gem. If not, we'll put a short hook in there, guys. Yeah, the gem won't even go in the hole now. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get my Peterson short hook in 18 thousandths instead. Okay. Ooh, one just went way, way deeper when I got under him. Now I can't get no further back. Okay, I'm under. I don't know what's holding me now. I'm, yeah, that's not going to work because can't get under anything else and it feels like everything else is locked up now let's put a top of the keyway tensioner back in there i guess you can see how deep that is guys that's pretty deep um, oh man and then on the last video i told you guys i'm sorry i haven't been around i haven't been picking any locks i've just been so we're open there beautiful it's number one holding me up um, I've just been so, so busy, guys. It, it's just been horrible. Let's not take that out of frame. Put my picks back over here. Very fun lock, lock picking patrolman. Thank you for making it. Uh, I don't know how I should got this. Should I got this through the back? Got a little hole there. I think I can get that out the back, though. Yeah. Do we have a key if I lock it up? I don't want to, but if we do, then... Let me slide this clip around a little bit and see if I can push this clip off of here. Okay, that clip slid right off. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Okay, let's move this. And I also have uh, How Lewd by Sightless Sentry and Lady Lockpicker that I'd like to get done. Because I got, like I said, I got all them packages going out to Germany, guys. So I really want to get a lot of stuff picked so I can get it on the way. Ah, these I don't want to put in there because those are a thick door kit. Uh, where's my shim? I know there's a brand new shim out here somewhere, guys. There it is. Okay. Awesome lock, lock picking patrolman. That was a lot of fun, that little guy. I ain't picked a lock in... Well, I haven't single pin picked a lock in probably, uh... Shoot, at least... At least five or six days. Uh, let's see what he's put in here for us, guys. He does have grub screws in the top. If worse comes to worse. Ooh, a lot of threading in there. <laughs> Let's get that key. Uh, let me stand up so I can see. 
And see all the pins are in and working, guys? There's a lot of threading in there, guys. And the last one's a T-pin. That was the first one to set every time I stuck the pick in it, guys. But there's a lot of threading in there. Okay. <sighs> okay, in one. Awesome double serrated. Two, a nice spool, very sharp top on it. Three, a standard. Four, a standard. Five, a standard. Hmm. All that magic must be upstairs then, guys. Uh, I slide that shim back out of there. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, very nicely done spool. Uh, repurpose key pin. I see a copper spring down in there. Beautiful. It's a cut down copper spring too. Another nice, really sharp spool. Steel spring. Awesome serrated pin. Wow, that's a long one. That's one of them long ones as long as Texas, guys. <laughs> ah, okay. Five is a really nice, another really nice serrated pin. Got a sharp, sharp lip on it. I'll bring us down to the pinning board right now, guys. And like I said, this is Lock Picking Patrolman's fifth uh, lock. That's an awesome, really nice spool with a T-pin on the end of it. Nothing done upstairs, guys. Um, in the core, we have threading in every chamber. And it looks like he kind of uh, countersunk the tops of these. If you can see in there, I hope you can see that, guys. I don't even know if I'm in frame. You know you know what my problem is here, guys? My, mag my big magnifying glass is right over my camera when I do it here. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, there's threading in every one of them, though. Very nice job, Black Picking Patrolman. Okay, I'm going to bring us down to the pinning tray here. Sorry, I don't want to make anybody drunk like I said before. Um, you know, somebody told me how to zoom in and I don't remember. <laughs> but I'll just do it the way I always do it, guys. Okay, and one, we had this awesome double serrated key pin with this spool up above him, copper spring. In two, this really nice spool with a sharp, sharp lip here. And then above him was another one with a really sharp lip facing downwards. Now, and all that threading, that gets caught up pretty bad. A standard in three. This awesome serrated. Look at this thing. In three and upstairs with a steel spring. Four, we had a standard key pin with this really... I'm going to try and pick it up like this so you can see. Oh, yeah, you really can't. But you can see he's got a nice serration with almost like a T-pin element on the bottom of it with that long spool here. Uh, steel spring. Five, we had a uh, standard key pin. And he goes this way. I'm sorry, guys. Those are like quick set pins, I believe. With this awesome serrated up above him. And another one with all that threading. I mean, that gets caught right up in that Bible. And he was actually this way in there. I'm sorry. He was almost like a T-pin, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the way he was. Let me know on that, Tim, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Uh, so, yeah, there's all the pins out of the lock. Very nicely done, Lock Picking Patrolman. I truly, truly appreciate you sending me the lock. Glad I got it picked right away. It will be going to Germany in one of those packages. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this collaboration lock done, too, this uh, Abus uh, 83 series, and get that sent, too, so... Everyone have a great evening. Thanks for watching and good night. Thanks for all your support, everyone.